Good afternoon, or evening actually. We're in uh, Breckenridge. Kind of doing like a short couple couple night camping trip <laughs> over here, but yeah, just went to like one of my, probably my favorite like photography studio I've been to in Colorado, or anyway, anywhere. So, yeah, that was cool. And now I'm just gonna go get some pizza at our uh, favorite pizza joint for uh, find somewhere to camp for the night. So this is the hike we're doing today, Lower Crystal Lake. 2.3 miles, 1,625 feet. That is the elevation gain. We ended up camping out in this parking lot in the car last night, and there was like no one in the parking lot when we got here last night and we woke up this morning. And the parking lot is full of probably like 50 cars. So yeah, it's a busy one for sure. But yeah, this is one we're gonna do. It's gonna be kind of like a, you know, midday hike, but I'll still try and, you know, maybe get some photos, even if the conditions aren't, you know ideal like really nice late or anything but yeah 2.3 miles let's uh let's do it we are here our first full day camping out near breckenridge colorado and um yeah hiked that trail this is lower crystal lake which is actually really pretty and i kind of prefer that it's mostly cloudy today so we don't have any really harsh shadows from the sun and a lot of glare so yeah i'm gonna try to take a few photos of this lake from this vantage point i think is what i'm looking at doing but yeah it's really cool just like the stream runs down right here took a nice little snack break over here yeah beautiful spot uh, although this is a absolutely beautiful location just because a location is beautiful does not mean it's easy to find a composition that works to capture it. I'm um, using my 8 to 18 Lumix Leica wide angle lens to shoot right now with the G9 and just tried like a ton of different compositions, so many different compositions. And honestly, I think it's pretty normal <laughs> to struggle, at least for me, pretty normal for me to struggle finding compositions that I actually like a lot of time because there's a lot going on here. A lot of like logs over there and all these like rocks are scattered about, which look really nice with these like peaks in the background behind me, but it is kind of hard to figure out where to place sort of thing in the frame to make it look, you know, like a decent composition that's actually like interesting to look at with your eye when it's a photograph instead of, you know, being here in person looking at it. Um, yeah, I think that's an ongoing struggle that landscape photographers struggle with is just finding good compositions even when you have an absolutely beautiful location like this. And hallway it is midday, it's not like ideal conditions to shoot in. I do actually kind of like the conditions right now because it's mostly cloudy, so the sun is just only peeking out every once in a while. And I'm um, just keeping the light nice and flat without any harsh shadows is always preferred for me. taking some photos of some birds hopping around the rocks, which is kind of fun. I really never do wildlife photography. But yeah, they're really hard to catch because they're just like super fast and bouncing around and like you gotta like catch them when they're like, when they stop for like one second maybe, if you get lucky. But yeah, kind of fun. Leaving the lake now. There it is, one last little look at it. Really beautiful spot. Nice, cool mountain peaks there. And um, yeah, you got some decent photos. Not really sure. I guess you don't really ever know until you <laughs> get back and start editing them but still fun little fun little early day hike and still got the rest of the day ahead of us so that's pretty cool good morning everybody this was our uh, camping spot last night well camping again we slept in the car for a night too in the parking lot of the trailhead here this is called kite lake trailhead which is there behind me and we're hiking up to a lake called lake emma which is going to be we're up that hillside behind me. Pretty short hike. I think it's like less than a mile. Um, so yeah, just a short one for the morning. And then we're kind of heading back this afternoon. But yeah, it's been a cool like couple day trip out here around Breck. We're actually close to the town of like Alma now, which is actually the uh, highest town in the entire United States. At, like I think it's like 10,600 feet or something like that above sea level. Again, shooting midday again today. So gonna work with those conditions and everything but we'll see still see if we can get any good photos of the lake up here i've never been there so i don't really know what it's gonna be like but yeah it's a bit windy and very clear blue skies with some haze from wildfires still so that's a bit of a bummer but other than that it's a beautiful morning <laughs> OK, 
Okay, well, this is Lake Emma here. We finally made it. <laughs> it's kind of funny because we looked at like, everything on all trails, which is like a trails app. And it said on the app that it was like an easy hike. It wasn't like ridiculously hard or anything, but it definitely was not classified as easy. Like I'd say it was a, it was a pretty good climb there at the, <laughs> at the end coming up to the lake. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful location. I really like this kind of bends around here on this almost like little peninsula in the center there. And some really dramatic peaks there in the background that I was kind of using. Photographing with a super wide angle lens, which I'm shooting this video with right now, the 8 to 18. And I was using the 45 to 150 telephoto as well. Some of these further out peaks, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful spot. And although we are here like almost midday um, with the cloud cover right now, I actually think it's pretty decent shooting conditions. Uh, like when we first started the hike, maybe an hour and a half ago, two hours ago, it was like clear blue skies and it wasn't looking so great. But now it's actually pretty nice to get some nice soft light, get those harsh shadows and everything that I'm always talking about and going on about, I feel like in all my videos. Huh, yeah, beautiful location. It's fantastic. I love it. heard some thunder and the clouds are really starting to roll in and get darker so we're gonna head back down to the car because we don't want to get caught in a thunderstorm potentially at like 12,000 feet above sea level or something like that but yeah thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed some of the photos and video I got from this couple day getaway to Breckenridge Alma area and yeah let me know what you think about the photos down below and the adventure and uh, yeah, if you did enjoy the video and want to see more videos like this about landscape photography, then feel free to subscribe to my channel down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.